Hello YouTube, uh, we are updating the Phantom 3 Professional Edition and I downloaded onto a memory card which is this slot right here on the side. I downloaded the firmware update um, and uh, then I, well here's what I did. I downloaded the firmware update which was a zip file I unzipped the file and then opened up the file and I moved the um, downloaded files onto the SD card. Um, the first time I did it, I dragged the folder that was created when it was unzipped and it didn't work. And based on the directions and reading, you should hear this sound, kind of a deet, 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 um, that it is up loading and installing the new firmware. It takes about uh, 25 minutes and I'm roughly 15 minutes into the process. Uh, also on that file or that uh, firmware update is a firmware uh, update for the controller and I'm just going to... Okay this was firmware 1.116 so, this is what we're upgrading, and I will check back after it's done, and we will also do the controller. Okay, so I'm done with the firmware update on the Phantom Professional. Um, the noise, or I guess the beep signal, was kind of a, uh, a long D followed by two short Ds, so it's kind of a D, 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 D. -D. Um, I took out, I powered the Phantom down, took out the card, installed the card back into my computer, and there was a file that I opened up. Uh, I opened up the file, and it said that the um, upgrade was successful. So now we are going to upgrade the controller here. And there is, apologize here, there is a U USB slot. I'm putting a USB in there. Um, I downloaded the same files, unzipped them, and put it on the uh, USB. So we're going to follow the directions here. So I'm going to power on the remote control. And the directions say power on the remote control and wait 60 seconds until the upgrade begins. Do not power off the remote control during this update. Take approximately 10 minutes to comp uh, complete the firmware update. And the camera will sound a beeping sound, and the status LED on the remote control should be a solid blue. Uh, right now there's no lights. And I was not going to up uh, turn that on. I just figured that'd be a little dangerous to um, have the Phantom on without a controller working. But I see some lights off, so... I don't see any lights... Okay, I think what we're going to do then, um, against better judgment, is we're going to turn that on and install it, or um, turn it on rather. And turn that on. Hmm, do not stay on here. Okay, so in order to keep this on, it was similar to how you power on the um, Phantom 3. You kind of um, push down, let go, and then hold, and then the remote control came on. So I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Okay, so we got some beepings. Uh, the camera will sound a beeping sound, and an LED will uh, also sound. The upgrade is successful with a blue light. Now, it said it should take approximately 10 minutes, and that went a lot shorter than 10 minutes. So let's just give this a second here while I reread the directions. So it says power on the remote control and wait 60 seconds until the upgrade begins. Do not power off the remote control. 
It will take approximately 10 minutes to complete the firmware update. The camera will sound a beeping sound, and the status LED on the remote control should show solid blue to in indicate. All right, so it's solid blue. So it's indicating that the update status is in progress. And I guess the status LED on the remote control shows a solid green and a beeping sound. Wow, there we go, right on cue uh, when the upgrade is complete. So uh, there you have it. I'm not sure if you need to have the Phantom on. I probably would not recommend it. Maybe you're going to find some of the directions that I didn't, but we did. And at the end of the day here, we have a green light and an updated Phantom um, to the latest uh, firmware update, at least as of Cinco de Mayo here. And that is the 1.6 firmware upgrade. So I hope that helped.